during the Iowa recording sessions. The Slipknot members, uh, the relationships with each other started to suffer, and this has been described as the darkest time of the band's career. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh yeah. And, and it wasn't because necessarily we were growing apart, we were just all very chemically imbalanced. I mean, to put it lightly, we were all fucked up. You know, we were kids who were suddenly famous and we became every cliche that we hated, you know? Like, it was a bum out, you know? Mm. We, we fought every cliche leading up to getting signed and going out and playing shows. And then all of a sudden, we had everything. We had a double platinum album. We we're the, one of the biggest metal bands in the world. We were headlining because nobody wanted us to open for them. Very true. And we were making our, a hugely hugely anticipated album so we just started getting fucked up because yeah. we were from Iowa and we were crazy people you know so in a way we kind of it was a pitfall that we fell into and then slowly but surely we kind of tried to pull ourselves out of it and sometimes it's hard you know especially when you're you know hitting the shit as hard as we were you know I mean because we were working hard we were playing hard we were just crazy hard Volume three. Working out the differences uh, between band members hindered the writing process initially. Uh, you guys talked to each other, or, or didn't talk to each other, for roughly three months, uh, though you were living together in the famous Houdini mansion. Well, the mansion. There's a big misnomer about that. Like, the, Houdini never lived in that house. Right. Ever. Like, he didn't even live, he didn't even live close to that house, and neither did his wife. Hmm. So that's kind of a, a that's kind of a, a misconception that it's I've kind been of trying nickname. to fight. Yeah, but it's 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 an incorrect nickname, isn't it? Okay. You know, would Stop you want me to call it. you Joseph if your name wasn't Joseph? Probably not. There you go. Let's figure it the fuck out. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the, I mean, the crazy thing about the first three months is like, not only was I fucked up, but everybody was fucked up, and we were kind of in and out. You know, like we weren't hanging together. We weren't working on anything together. You know, and then. Slowly but surely, you know, I, you know, I quit drinking and, and was a little more involved, but slowly but surely the music really kind of started to come together, you know, and this is where Paul and Joe really, you know, they, you know, they were ahead of the game as far as like bringing music in, bringing uh, Vermilion, uh, Duality, uh, Before I Forget, like, I mean, a lot of like the really good stuff. And then the more involved we got, the more music came out of it. So it slowly but surely started to kind of get there, you know. But it took seven months, man. It was, it was crazy. 